Hello everybody, welcome back. This will be my Project Use It Up May Progress and June Goals. My goal is to use a hair mask twice a month and I am still using the Queen Helen Cholesterol Hair Conditioning Cream. I am down here now. So again, steady progress. So we're in June here. Well, October. I enjoy using this. I use it twice a month. Like I said, every other wash. It just helps keep my ends nice and moisturized and my scalp gets to stay moisturized so it's not dry. I've already gone two over my goal for antibacterial hand gels. I've already used five this year and I wanted to use three. I wanted to use three body sprays slash perfumes. I used one in April. In May, I finished the coconut, coconut, the coconut lime verbena body splash from Bath and Body Works. This is my second favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. I was really happy to use something that I enjoyed. Now I am using. From Calgon, a twist of tropic Hawaiian ginger body mist. This is where I'm at here. I should have no problems finishing this. It'll either be done before, you know, during the month of June or early July. Because I actually just started using this today. Goal was to hit three nail polishes. I have hit three nail polishes. For eye care products, I've already hit my goal, surpassed my goal. I'm at seven eye products this year when I wanted to use four. Let's see, for hair, I wanted to use four hair products. And I already hit my goal, but from last month, I was able to finish Beyond the Zones straight shot kill the kink straightening balm it took me a while to use this i didn't enjoy the stickiness at the end you had to be very light-handed with this otherwise it would weigh your hair down and make it um feel a little tacky so now i have finished five hair products this year my goal is always to use four sheet masks in a month I have not hit that goal yet, but I have hit three every month, which I still think is great progress. In May, I used two snail sheet masks. They were fine. There was nothing remarkable about them or something that made them stand out to me in a negative or a positive way. The same with the Q10 and pomegranate sheet mask. They all come from Malibu Glitz, which I buy off of shopmissa.com. They were a nice product. It was nice and refreshing, especially now that it's getting warm. It's cooling, and I just enjoy that. You know, just spend 20, 30 minutes just chilling out, listening to music or listening to someone talk on the TV or on the internet, whatever. Just a little slice of relaxation for yourself. Alright, I want to finish... Oh, what? What's wrong with the mouth today? I want to finish five shampoos this year. I've already finished three. And as you know, I'm always using three shampoos in conjunction. The first shampoo I use is from Herbal Essence. It's Drama Clean Refreshing Shampoo. It's a clarifying shampoo. I've made quite a bit of progress since the last time we were here because I want to say I was like up here somewhere. But there's no point in me marking <laughs> some of these bottles because it will just wash away. And I, my second shampoo is from Alberto B05. It's from their Nourishing Oasis line, which I don't think they have anymore. This is supposed to be calm and condition with lavender and cal chamomile. It's a shampoo. I hate the scent. I abhor it. It ruins my shower time. But it's in the bathroom. 
And I think I'm like down here somewhere. I just don't like the scent. Yeah, there's not a lot in here, so hopefully it'll be gone in a couple months. But I don't enjoy the scent. I like Alberto Bio 5. You know, I think it cleans like it's supposed to. But I don't like the scent, so that throws me all off. And then my last shampoo is from Head & Shoulders. This one is a 2-in-1. I'm not a fan of 2-in-1s, but I will use it. This is for dry scalp care. I'm here. I like to use a Head & Shoulders at the end. Just Even if you don't have, you know, like full-blown dandruff, I think this just helps control any flaking or dryness on your scalp and especially for someone who only washes their hair once a week maybe twice a week now that it's warm and I'm just looking it back in a ponytail I could wash it every four or five days it's just nice to have that added protection I want to use five conditioners this year before today's update I'd already used two this will be number three this is from Suave it was from their naturals collection in fresh mountain strawberry did not smell like fresh mountain strawberries it really didn't have a scent but I used it this is a thinner conditioner so you do use a lot it was fine I'm just glad to have it gone the conditioner I'm using right now is from Alberto bo 5 it is the dry scalp soothe and relief plus almond oil moisturizing conditioner I am like at the dry part so I've used you know that much but I like to keep it upside down it just comes out of the container batter that way I got this from Dollar Tree and this is a thick conditioner so if you are looking for a thick conditioner and it's you know your price point is a dollar you know dollar store range or even if you bought it in your local grocery store or drugstore this is a super thick I mean like <laughs> you would equate like the Suave and the Alberto bo 5 with being a thinner conditioner you know but this one is really thick it does you put it in your hand and it won't just you can put it in the palm of your hand set your hand up and it won't slide down I mean that's a thick conditioner and I am really impressed with that aspect. I do think it moisturizes. I like the way it smells. I have no beef with this conditioner at all. Alright, body lotions. I want to use 10 body lotions this year. And I am well on my way to achieving that goal. Before today, I had already used 4. So that, you know, I have 6 left to do. I have finished a body lotion for this year. For this month, you know, for May. Oh my God, where am I going? I have finished a body lotion for May. This is the Jergens Daily Moisture for dry skin. It absorbed well, smelled nice. I had no problems with Jergens. I love Jergens. So now I've hit five, so I have five more for the year, which is great because we're at June now. We're at the half halfway point. And I'm using three body lotions right now. This is from Bath and Body Works. This is Violet Lily Sky. I enjoy it. As you can see, I'm almost done with it. This one has been on my desk lately. My hands have been dry. The Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer. It's essential Healing. This one I use after I shower. I like spray lotions, especially in the summer. I think they're really great. And then by my bed, this is from Bath & Body Works as well. It's in the scent Moonlit, Moonlight Path. And it is a triple moisture body cream. I love the scent. I love the thickness of these creams. But this is one of the older packages. This is one of the older packaging because it's tearing so I would do want to get this out of there before it starts to crack and you have lotion everywhere while you're trying to put it on but this is this is another one of the scents that I do enjoy so next month this one should definitely be gone maybe the spray 
All right, for shower gels. I've used three of the ten I want to use this year, and I am currently using this one from St. Ives. It is the Revitalizing Pear and Soy. It lathers well. It smells good. I really enjoy this one in my showers. It's a really nice thick consistency, so like one squirt or, you know, whatever, how much you shoot out, this will wash the whole body top to bottom. I enjoy that about a uh, shower gel. This one, you'll probably see this one for August. Travel size lotions. I have already used nine of the ten I want. And this is the last one I have. It's Peach Citrus Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. I usually hold it upside down like this in my purse. And I'm down here. It fell over, so. But I'm like down here, so. I have no qualms that this won't be done before the end of the year. Probably a couple more months, maybe. Because I only use it when I get my nails done or if I'm out a lot. I wanted to finish 12 lip products this year. And I've surpassed my goal. I finished 13 before today. And I have two more. So I'm at 15 lip products for the year. This is an Adesi Kupakoi Butter Lip Balm. It was nice in the beginning once you got to the end. It started to leave a cast that I didn't enjoy. This one is from Avon. It's part of their Sweetest Day collection. This was in Delicious Brownie. I love this one. I've had several of their chocolate scented flavored ones or whatever. They never leave a weird aftertaste. They always smell really nice. My lips always look really nice and hydrated. And sometimes they give like a little like minute hit of color just to boost your natural lip. I love that. So I want to use 12 perfume samples this year. I've already used five this year and this makes the sixth one. This is Clean Reserve Cell Santel. It it has like a floral, a light floral scent. It's not too much, but it's not something that I enjoy personally. But it was nice to try it. My goal is to use 12 samples not in another category that I have. And it was two hair samples. One from OA Hair Care, their treatment mask. I don't know that it did anything because I could only use it on my ends. But you put this in before you wash your hair. So essentially it was like a hot oil treatment without the hot. <laughs> and then from Verb, it's their ghost oil. I really like the scent. It absorbed well and it was never greasy or my hair never felt weighed down when I used it. But I don't know that I would purchase this. So now I'm at nine samples, not in another category. So that means three more samples and I've hit my goal. All right, I had the category of 20 skincare samples. And I thought that would take me the whole year. Well, in May, I had already had 30 skincare samples used up. And from May, I used two. And they were both eye creams. One is from Kale's. It's the Super Multi Corrective Eye Opening Serum. I love this one. I got this one through Birchbox and I'm definitely going to buy this one in the future once I finish some of my other eye creams. It it's very light. It's a serum but I felt it helped with any discoloration because I have a couple I don't know if they're like freckles or like baby mole type of things but I had two on my eyelid and over time they had darkened so you could notice them they were noticeable you know if I wore too light of a eyeshadow but with this product they lighten them to where they actually blend in to my skin tone of my eye which I think is amazing like, how can you not love a product that can do something like that? And I felt it, you know, helped to diminish any, you know, under eye darkness that I had going on. I am just super impressed with this product. So, yep. And then this one is from Origins. It's their Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. I didn't notice any depuffing. But with this product, there is some shimmer 
like it's minute but once it started to dry the product you know we were getting towards the end and it was starting to dry up a little bit and it was becoming thicker to maneuver underneath the eye because you know it was drying up you could see this a little bit of reflective um, particles in there so that was an interesting aspect I don't know that it was my favorite part um, but I would not buy this again or I was really glad to try the sample but I don't think I would buy the full size product of this all right you guys so that was my May progress some of my June goals and into the future I am really enjoying this project use it up just to see what I actually use you know I took into account you know inventory and FYI there will be an inventory slash storage video coming up shortly once I get it all together but having a list like I do you know of my goals and then I have check boxes so I can cross them off and I do a different color for every month it's just interesting to see how long it takes me to use up products to see what products that I can actually you know just blow right through and it helps me be aware of how much I actually own like I don't really stop myself from you know buying what I want because you know makeup and skincare and body care those things make me happy but it does help me to remember hey you may want it but you might not need it and if it's not something that's unique or you know a unique scent um, a unique product a unique color then maybe you need to pull back because I definitely try to work on that with nail polish but I get nail polishes through subscription boxes so I can't stop you know that from happening but especially when I buy things they have to be something that maybe I don't already own in my collection but I really really want all right so that's enough rambling I want to thank you guys for viewing if you enjoyed please hit that thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do I would love to have you and if you've already subscribed thank you very much I want you guys to be safe be well peace